as policy makers. I hope that we can encourage us to think about um, the low-income community as not just needy or deserving only of financial aid, but they truly deserve our financial investment to help them fulfill all their potential and to help them with social mobility. As a leader, being able to mobilise people towards a common purpose is something that drives me and motivates me and it's great to see individuals be able to live up to their potential and discover their own potential beyond what they thought that they had. I grew up in a simple family. My dad was a taxi driver, my mom was a homemaker. I guess my dad really passed on this work ethic to us that we need to work hard and he was also a very persistent guy. He always told us that whatever that we choose to do, we should, you know, um, do it with, uh, the, to the best of our abilities and with all our heart. Lah. Carrie, I know her in the capacity of a friend and also a humanitarian worker in the community. She's very enthusiastic about connecting and having exchanges and learning. So speaking of your befrienders... She always pushes herself and her team to move forward and be progressive in adopting ideas, finding out needs so that she can meet the needs of the women that she serves in the community. We work with many women who, because of their life circumstances, because of some of their backgrounds and the fact that they don't have a lot of means, they may have lost sight of their own talents and strengths. And I think setting up Daughters of Tomorrow has helped them to rediscover their abilities, their belief in themselves. So the women are able to sustain their jobs and they have better financial means to provide for their families, for their children. I care about families. I care about um, the workers and I care about community. And I think there are opportunities for different solutions to come up that can really combine the objectives of enabling the sandwich generation to juggle their work and also juggle the caregiving needs of having to look after their children and look after their parents, right? And I think it's really the details of people's lives every day that make a difference as to whether a policy is going to be effective for them and be able to help them or not. Empathy is really important and my work previously in terms of working with the low-income families has really helped to build my sense of listening and empathy and I think I will be able to help people who have very different views uh, come to a common understanding. I met Carrie a couple of years ago when I was working with the National Youth Council. When I first met her, I definitely sensed that she's very sincere and uh, when I get to know about her work, uh, she does come across as a very outstanding person. I think number one is that she has the heart. The other thing is that she also has the competency. She's running an NGO all by herself and over the years she has mobilised and activated many new programmes to support the community. I believe in spending time with people uh, and to understand what they are facing deeply with an open mind and an open heart. I think when we are able to value people for who they are and value that everyone has something to contribute, that's when we can come together as a community and really solve problems together and achieve great things together. So that's what I believe in and I hope to bring, you know, not just the power of the community but also the joy in serving to the community.